Okay, so I know this rating looks a bit bad, but it is a no gem deck, so don't expect too much from this deck. So uh, from the new event, we also got some really good free stuff, including a copy of On Ice Raging Dragon, and also we also get a structure deck for absolutely free. As you can see, uh, we got a new structure deck, Odd Eyes Challenger, and we also get a free open of this structure deck. So you can actually get two of this structure deck with absolutely no money spent. But for this version, we're not even going to open the structure deck two times. We're only going to open it once, and the entire deck is free of gems. So, uh, as you can see, we are only playing a single copy of Odd Eyes, only a single copy of Pendulum Call, but the deck still functions. It's not very consistent, because obviously you need a Pendulum Call or a Oath Dragon for your combo to actually work. So uh, having only one copy of each isn't very good for us, but uh, we can make this work. So uh, let's go through the cards one by one. First off is uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Of course you need this card for the deck to work. It is your main level 7 beater and also your main monster to go into your Raging Dragon. And we have Oath Dragon Magician. This is actually really useful for our skill because our skill puts two monsters in our extra deck. So Earth Dragon will be able to add one of them to our hand, so we can Pendulum summon both of them. And it's also a low scale and a Pendulum monster with a Magician in its name, so we can set it with our Pendulum Call. Next is Performing Pal Skullcrobat Joker, this is our main searcher, and our main Normal Summon. We can Normal Summon it to grab any Magician Pendulum monster, any Performing Pal, or Odd Eyes monster, so you can just grab whatever you want. Next is a pretty interesting tech choice, I'm playing Fortune Fairy Sui because we are playing a lot of draw power in this deck which I will talk about later. So this is a really good way to remove your opponent's monster before you actually commit to your board. Uh, a lot of people are playing Orcus right now and Dengirisu is a really annoying card, it prevents your Raging Dragon from popping any of your cards. So we can make Sui before we make our Raging Dragon to get rid of our opponent's Dengirisu so we can actually uh, attack for a game. Next is Time Gazer Magician. So, uh, because we were playing this as a no gem version of the deck, we we're not playing uh, Dragon Pit Magician, which is uh, a much better version of Time Gazer Magician. But uh, since this is a no gem deck, we won't use any cards from another structure deck. So, Time Gazer Magician is the only other option we have that is a Magician Pendulum Monster with a high scale. But it has a drawback, because uh, if uh, you control a monster, you cannot actually scale this card, so you have to activate it if you have no monsters. And also, if you don't have a Magician or Odas card in your other Pendulum zone, this Pendulum scale becomes 4, so make sure you always have a, another Odas or Magician Pendulum monster in your other zone. Next is uh, Xiangsheng Magician. It is uh, another 8 scale, but it has a drawback that makes it uh, makes it scale 4 if you you have more cards than your opponent. So uh, it is really bad going first, but this deck is bad going first anyway, so it isn't really that much of a problem. But most importantly, this is a level 4 Magician Monster, so uh, this is your main target for your skill to put in your extra deck, and you'll use your Oath Dragon to grab it from your extra deck to your hand, and then you can Pendulum Summon it as a level 4 monster, plus whatever random monster you got from your skill, and you can use those two monsters to make your Dark Rebellion. And finally is a Perform Pile Radish Horse. It is a Perform Pile monster with a low scale and level 4. So uh, it's basically used for that, its effects don't really matter that much. And for spells, we're playing a single copy of Pendulum Call. Uh, you usually play as many copies as you have, but uh, this No Gem deck will only play one. Uh, it searches both skills from your deck directly, so a single Pendulum Call is full combo. It needs a discard, but that isn't that much of a deal. So uh, we're playing a lot of cards to help us grab it to our hand, including a Reload and a Magical Mallet. These cards help shuffle bad cards from our hand to your deck and then 
draw the same amount of cards. So hopefully we will draw into a Pendulum Call or an Earth Dragon plus another high scale. And those cards also enable our uh, Fortune Fairy Sweep because when we draw it uh, in our draw phase or with Reload or Magical Mallet, we can just special summon it. And uh, Sweep is also a level 4 monster, which is really useful for our uh, Xyz monsters. And finally, it's Spiritualism. It's a free to obtain card from the card trader. It is basically, it is basically budget MST. You can get rid of your opponent's back row before you commit. And also it bounces, which sometimes is really useful when your opponent has a, let's say a Dengusu, which protects them from being destroyed. Uh, Spiritualism will just get over it. In our extra deck, we're playing a whole bunch of random stuff, plus our main boss monster, Odai's Raging Dragon. This card is for absolutely free. Everyone gets a copy of this card. Uh, it is really powerful. Uh, our skill allows us to exceed some of the discard a lot easier, and when we do, we can actually use its two effects because we are going to make it using Dark Rebellion and Odd Eyes. Uh, when it has an Xyz monster as a material, it gains these two effects. It can attack twice per turn, and also once per turn you can detach one to destroy all cards your opponent controls, and this card gains 200 attack for each card destroyed until the end of the turn. Uh, it has a, another effect that puts it into the pendulum scale when it is destroyed, and also um, while it is a scale, uh, you can uh, set scales from your deck, but you will never use this effect. And next up is Dark Rebellion. Uh, you should be really familiar with this card, but uh, it is not only used for uh, OT King directly, it is mainly used for you to make Raging Dragon. And uh, next is Sega Pegasus, Kachikoshi, and Gemite Pearl. These are just uh, free to obtain rank 4s that we have. And we're also playing a Power Code, Plus Lumino, and a Code Talker. These are the free to obtain links that we have. So uh, let's have a look at the skill. The skill is what enables the stack to work. Raging Pendulum. At the beginning of the duel, you add Pendulum Zones. And also, uh, you can use once per duel by revealing an All Eyes Raging and Dark Rebellion from an extra deck. If you can if you control uh, two Perform Pal, Magician, or All Eyes cards in your Pendulum Zone, so uh, when you do, you can add one of three Perform Pal monsters uh, at random. All of them are level four, so it doesn't really matter which one you add to your hand. Perform Pal Coin Dragon is probably the best of them, but. Um, it doesn't really matter anyway because you're using them as Xyz material. So uh, after that, you also add a Odd Eyes from your deck and a Magician Pendulum Monster from your hand or deck. So uh, you use uh, your level 4 Shangsheng from your deck, hopefully. Even if you draw it, it's fine. It, it still adds them from your hand. Uh, one Shangsheng and uh, one Odd Eyes that will from your deck, and that gives you all the materials you need for your Raging Dragon. And also during this duel, you can shift Xyz monsters to control as a level 7 monsters when Xyz summoning Oda as a Raging Dragon. So basically, any Dragon Xyz monster will be able to make Oda as Raging Dragon, because it requires two level 7 Dragon type monsters. So. Um, Cards like Kachi Kochi Dragon is also a Dragon Xyz monster, so uh, you can actually make it using a Dark Rebellion plus a Kachi Kochi Dragon if you actually have both of those cards. You don't actually need any level 7 monsters, which is pretty funny. And uh, if you have the uh, level 7, yeah, so uh, if you have a copy of the Doom Rider, it is also a um, Dragon Xyz monster. You can also treat it as a level 7 monster to make your all dice raging dragon. So this is the slightly more expensive version of a deck. It's still really, really, really cheap. It's only uh, 1500 gems. You don't even need any boxes to make this deck. You just need two of the new structure deck. So uh, two all dice challengers and a single of the old structure deck, the Magician's Arc structure deck. This is actually not an EX structure deck, so you can get this structure deck with only 500 gems. So uh, that's uh, a free open, 
1,000 gems for the uh, All Dice Challenger and 500 for the Magician's Arc Structure deck. Uh, and you can build this deck! And uh, it is a lot better than the No Gem version because, um, first of all, you have a lot more copies of Pendulum Call and Earth Young Magician, so it's a lot more consistent. So you don't have to actually have to play those uh, reloads and magical mallets because uh, it is really likely that you actually have combo every time because you also have like Skogobrat Joker to search your cards. But also, we have access to Dragon Pit and Dragon Poles. These two cards are really, really, really good. Uh, what they allow you to do is to pop your opponent's cards before you commit anything to your board. So, uh, especially Dragon Pit Magician, uh, it also it allows us to clear our opponent's back row with a searchable monster. So um, both Pendulum Call and Summoner's Art will be able to search it from your deck, and uh, before you actually Pendulum Summon, you can use the Scales effect to pop your opponent's back row, and since it is a high scale, you can pair it with uh, Oath Dragon, which is a low scale, so it works really well with that. And our extra deck is pretty much the same, we're just playing two copies of Dark Rebellion. But yeah, if you have enough gems for this, definitely build this over the no gem version because it, this is a lot better and consistent. Okay, so let me talk about this deck overall. So this deck is good, but not this version. I mean, the deck itself, if you have more expensive cards, if you buy multiple of the structure decks, if you have, uh, say, three copies of Oath Dragon and three copies of Dragon Pit, this deck is actually really, really good. It's probably going to be in the tier list, I think, but uh, probably not top tier, but it should see quite a bit of competitive play. But for the free-to-play version, it has one giant weakness because it is really bad going first. Well, uh, the expensive version won't have this problem because we have plenty of uh, Xyz monsters that are good going first, we have a Steel, Swarm, a Steel Swarm Roach, we have Abyss Dweller, we have the Doom Rider, we have uh, um, Giant Hand. All of these Xyz monsters could be made turn 1 and it helps a lot for this deck going first. But for the free to play version, the only good extra deck cards we have is a Dark Rebellion and Odd Ice Raging, which uh, both of these cards are only good going second. So uh, going first, oftentimes you're just going to uh, make a bunch of pendulums on field and hope your opponent doesn't defeat you in one turn. And there's a, another huge weakness for uh, this version and not the um, uh, uh, 1500 gem version of the deck because uh, the zero gem version of the deck is really, really inconsistent because you only have a single copy of Pendulum Call and a single copy of Oath Dragon. So even with all these reloads and magical mallets, it's still uh, really, really unlikely for you to always be able to activate Pendulum Call. And uh, even if you do, you most likely ran out of resources to uh, deal with your opponent's back row because uh, let's say you have uh, Spiritualism, but you don't have your Pendulum Call, you're, you're just gonna for be forced to use Mallet to shuffle back your Spiritualism to uh, try to get your Pendulum Call and uh, that makes you unable to deal with your opponent's back row. And also, uh, a problem with Sui is that even though it's really good as a removal and a free level 4, it does conflict with uh, exactly Time Gazer Magician. So uh, you can solve this very easily just by uh, spending a few gems, but uh, Time Gazer cannot be activated when you control a monster. And Sui special summons itself. So uh, if you know that you want to activate Time Gazer after, you draw on Sui, you might consider not summoning Sui. So you will just Pendulum summon it or Normal summon it after you already set your scales. Or you can just choose to set your scales first before you try to draw into your Sui. So yeah, the graph on the left might look a bit misleading because yes, this version is not good, but just by spending a few gems to build the um, 1500 gem version of the deck, the deck gets a lot better. 
it's still pretty bad going first, but uh, you can just spend a bit of dream tickets to get good Xyz monsters or just go into your boxes. It's not really hard to get because a lot of them are just uh, SR cards from mini boxes or uh, UR cards from mini boxes, which are pretty easy to get. So uh, yeah, let's see how this deck goes in uh, replays. Okay, so we are actually not going to include a lot of replays for this video because uh, this deck only does one thing, which is summon Odas Raging Dragon. So uh, there isn't a lot of uh, other plays you can make with this deck, so we're gonna not waste too much time. Uh, yeah, we're going second, which is really good for this deck. I don't think any of our free-to-play versions of the deck can win going first. And uh, yeah, a lot of people are playing this deck in ranked. So uh, like 8 out of 10 people I face in ladder are playing Pendulums. And uh, the two remaining people are playing Orcust. It's just a really boring meta. But uh, this hype is probably going to fade really soon. Our opponent is going to exceed some of the Doom Rider. And they're going to set two cards. We're going to activate Spiritualism, bounce back one of them. We're going to reload, shuffle back our hand. We're going to draw some cards back. We draw a Swede, that is perfect. We're going to attempt to banish his monster. He is going to pop it, which is actually good for us because now we don't have any monsters in our field, which means we can activate our uh, time Gazer Magician. So we're gonna Pendulum Call, search our skills, activate Time Gazer, activate Earth Dragon, activate Skill, reveal our two Xyz monsters. We're gonna add both an Odd Eyes and a Xiang Sheng, and add a Coin Dragon to our hand. We're gonna Earth Dragon back our uh, Xiang Sheng to our hand, and then Pendulum Summon everything. We're gonna use our two level fours to make Dark Rebellion, and that is enough materials for our Raging Dragon. But before we do that, we're going to activate its effect to re reduce our opponent's monster's attack. And now we're going to witness the beautiful summoning animation of Raging Dragon. I like how all of the Arc 5 monster summoning animations are the same from the anime. Anyway, we're going to activate its effect, popping everything and attacking twice for lethal. So this is the slightly more expensive version. When I say slightly, I do mean slightly, it's just 1500 gems. So again, our opponent is playing the same deck. But uh, we are going second, so uh, it is really favorable for us and not so much for them. Uh, they are playing more expensive cards and they're actually not using our skill, they're actually using the old skill. Shangke uh, and Shangsheng will allow them to set scales, and also their effects allow them to make a Raging Dragon if they want to, but since it's turn 1, they're not going to do that. They're going to make Roach, set 1, and pass. It's really beatable for us. We're going to spiritual some bounce back the back where our opponent has. We're going to search the Dragon Pulse Magician, and that will deal with our opponent's Roach. We're going to set 2 scales. We're going to activate our field spell and pulls to pop our opponent's Roach. And we're gonna Skyrus, pop our own monster, and search Pendulum Dragon, and since we have less cards than, uh, less or equal amount of cards than our opponent, uh, Shangsheng won't reduce its own scale, so we can keep its 8 scale. And we can Pendulum Summon to uh, level 4s and our Odd Eyes, and our opponent will scoop before we can even make our Raging Dragon. 